And now with, with Valerie, uh, the co-host, good evening. good evening. How are you feeling right now? Because things are starting today. Yes, uh, in fact, it's kicking in now. The excitement is kicking in and so looking forward for the show. Uh, so nice to meet the contestants of the festival. And yes, I, I've done a couple of Junior Eurovision Song Contest as a commentator. This time I'm a host, so it's completely different. But I'm back after an absence of eight years or so. The last one was in 2009. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. No, that's my meds gone wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, yesterday we met Ben and he told us he was uh, looking forward uh, uh, to the event and to be working with you. I suppose you're going to say it's exactly the same on your side. You're looking forward to work with him. Yes, well, he's much younger than me and it's the first time we'll be working together. So I'm really looking forward to work with him too. He's such a lovely guy. He's so down to earth and very, very professional in his ways. Yeah, we can tell. Yesterday, he couldn't tell us what would happen on stage. He wanted to keep the secret, but we know that women can't keep secrets. So please, please, can you give us an exclusive news? What's going to happen on, sat on Sunday? Because uh, everything is quite secret right now. Mm -hmm. We don't know. We've seen the stage, which is yes. beautiful. And, uh, but what's going to happen? Give me one, one clue. Well, we've started rehearsing this morning. So we got a good idea of what's going to happen. Uh, no, I won't say anymore. <laughs> okay, so uh, you have I'm to sorry. wait and see the show. I see the rehearsal on my side. I go to see the rehearsal, but I won't reveal anything <laughs> since it's a, a it's yeah. a secret. Let's keep so, it a secret. Um, can you introduce yourself to our audience? Um, so you said you were a commentator for Junior Eurovision for PBS, but I suppose you have other activities uh, uh, on television. Can you uh, explain us, please? Yes. Well, I've been hosting programs on the national station for the last 22 years. I started way back when I was 18 years old. And uh, at the moment I do a local show which speaks about culture and anything that has to do with Malta. Um, I've read the votes a couple of times in the Adult Eurovision Song Contest. I've That's, done the why, commentary I know as well. That's <laughs> why I know your face. That's why I know your face. And by profession I'm a teacher. All like me. Are you? Good. Okay. Are you teaching? I'm teaching biology. Actually, I was teaching biology because now I am working as an interpreter. Oh. Yeah. Good. Quit the teaching job and back as an interpreter. Okay. <laughs> and so you're an interpreter and TV hostess yes. at the same time? Yes. Okay. Um, after Eurovision, do you have any other projects? Or, for example, can we expect to see you on stage for Malta Eurovision, for example? Mm, that's always a secret. I've done the Malta Eurovision three times already. So but you never Ben know. stole your job last year. Would you he like did. to take would you like to take it back? Maybe. Or do it together. Let's be that diplomatic. Would be great. Yeah, that's okay. Would be great, okay, PBS, actually. please send them the two of them to Malta Eurovision. Listen, enjoy the evening. I think Thank the party you. is nearly over. But nearly are, it's continuing outside because you know yeah, let's in go Malta outside. we have nice weather. Okay, so, so let's go outside. Yeah, Thank you very much. It. Good evening. Bye. Grazie. <laughs>